I do folks, Rookie Vlogger here. I'm filming this on Friday, October 21st. And uh, I'm, I just I had to run up and get some dog food for the, for the fur babies. And uh, uh, I come up here and it's called TRS or Tractor Supply Company. They carry the brand that uh, Bears Breeder uses, and I use, I get the healthy coat because of Ranger because he has skin allergies, and uh, which seems to be one of the problems that you find in the Great Pyrenees, or in my case, I, I, I found it in white dogs. Their skin's so pink underneath, I guess, and doesn't take much. <coughs> so, but. Tractor Supply Company will soon be merged, or they've announced the merger now with Orschlands. And, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Yes. I made it out there. And yes. Did that good. Okay. There we go. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a little warm today. Pick the air on just a little bit. But, uh, uh, anyways, Orsland's, uh Farm and Ranch Supply is uh, being bought out by Tractor Supply Company, which, that's good. I'd rather be that way than the other way, because uh, at least I know with Tractor Supply, I can give my lawnmower that I bought that we bought earlier this year or bought a couple months ago uh, they, they carry the warranty on them, so anyways the other thing was is uh, you know when you go to these uh, these farm and ranch supply places there's always a cowgirl around and I admire a cowgirl Something about the way they fill out the Wranglers and those high heel boots put a little extra shimmy. And it's, I saw one up there today and she was like, she was okay. A little, little bit, a few more, probably about 10 more pounds than I'm used to seeing because Judy's just a small, small frame person who also fills out her, her Wranglers very well. Uh, but, you know, the gal had a few extra pounds of her, but not many, and uh, she made them Wranglers just dance. That's all I can say, folks. I may be old, but I'm not dead. I think in the video that I did for Friday, because this will go up on Monday, the video I did for Friday, Judy was actually trying to figure out who that gal was walking down the road. Of course, naturally, that made me look. Unfortunately, you guys couldn't see her. But it made me look, and uh, she definitely had a little, little uh, shimmy in her backside there. Looked like she needed an extra leaf spring or two in her backside, because it was sure bouncing a lot. Now nah, it was, it was a nice bounce though. So. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. Okay, I'm a male showman's pig. But you can't cancel me because there's a lot of us out there. They're called red blooded Americans. But yeah, I mean, I go up there and, and the gal there at the, at the at TRC, or TSC, I should say, Tractor Supply Company, uh, she said to try out, they, they actually have their house brand of dog food that is actually made by the same company that makes. Uh, I, use dime, I get diamond naturals. And that's another thing. I had a $10 coupon off, so I got it for cheaper than I would anywhere. And then I, for the same price, I would have got the, uh, the other, uh, the cheaper stuff. So, you know, I save. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, I buy it because, one, the dogs don't eat a lot of it. They don't, they, it's not that they don't eat, just that they don't, 
there's not a lot of filler and there's a lot of good nutrient food so they don't have the need to uh, uh, keep constantly eating because they're not getting enough nutrition so that's that's what you know it's sort of like you pay a little bit more for diet lean hamburger you know or for the 93 percent uh 93% lean hammer, you pay more for it, but you don't have the shrinkage. I mean, if you, now when, when you're grilling on a barbecue, yeah, you want to go with the little bit more uh, fat in the, you know, not quite so lean hammers when you're grilling, but uh, because that drippings is what actually adds to the flavor of a hammer on a grill, in my opinion. And in the opinion of most people with grill. So, but, so I've gone from dog food to people food in one. Nice little segue there. But, uh, oh man, they sold that yellow Ford Mustang. It did pulled off, and somebody must have bought that thing because that was sharp looking. And I'm not a fan of yellow Mustangs, but that was a sharp looking one. I, I had that one. There's one color that Ford has done in the past that really looks good and they discontinued it probably back in the probably back in the 70s or at the end of the 70s after when they got rid of the when they came out with that Mustang 2 or that mini Mustang or whatever the crap that thing was. That was a piece of garbage, you know. But yeah, so anyways, there goes my dreams for the day. Uh, don't have a lot of extra to say. Just remember, you when you see this, I'll either have it going live before. I'll probably try and have it going live before the show. And this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna try and get together with the boys and do some drone flying. If I can, I don't know if. Uh, let's see, super fast. At that and Janie may be, uh, <coughs> may be camping this weekend. They getting close to the end of the camping season. Well, I tell you what, they, they're trying to make these cars smaller and smaller. I mean, what was that, the Chevrolet Spark, some little electric vehicle, I think, maybe? Little bitty ass thing. Whatever. I like to have room to spread out. I got long legs, so that's another thing. Short waist with long legs, so I gotta have room. And, you know, we haul Jeep's wheelchair, and that's why I like having a minivan. It's the perfect vehicle for that. And these uh, Grand Caravans really do look like a SUV. Uh, the, the newer ones do in 2019, and I think it's 2019 up. But, Folks, I'm just about home, so I'm going to go ahead and end this now. I'm going to say what I always say. Be kind. Treat each other better than you treat yourselves. Remember, everybody matters. Even the gals in the tight blue jeans. God bless. God help the USA. I am the Grumpy Vlogger, and I'm out of here. Bye-bye.